not know what, what we are about to get into with, with my purse over here, so it's gonna be interesting. Hey guys, it's Sydney and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to find out what in God's name is in my purse and um, it's going to be interesting because I just know that there's like a lot of garbage in there in receipts, you know, like your average woman's purse. It's just kind of a black hole, especially for me. So it should be interesting. Oh my god, this feels so heavy right now. This is my purse. It is a Michael Kors. I don't know what it's called. I got it a couple Christmases ago. But it's like this nice maroon color. I think this was like a holiday color. So I don't know if it's available anymore. I'll put um, like the equivalent um, linked down below though for you guys. So yeah, that's just um, about the purse itself. It's got these straps and then also this longer one as well. So uh, yeah, let's just um, bite the bullet and get into this thing. Um, you guys probably hear my fan and my air conditioning in the background. Usually I turn it off, but it's summer in Arizona right now and it's, it's um, really hot. So I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm not going to turn it off or else I'll be a pool of sweat sitting in front of you guys. All right, so first thing, that I grab is my case with my sunglasses. These sunglasses, I got them from Zoffel. Yeah, and I just keep them in, who's texting me? And I just keep them in this like glasses case holder because they just feel really fragile and I'm obsessed with these sunglasses. So I don't want them to break with all the other contents that are in my purse. Next thing I grab is, oh, that's my license is this little like change purse thing. This is like my alternate wallet. Like I have a bigger wallet, but when I'm just like on the go, I don't really like bring my entire purse. I'll just bring my car keys, my phone, and this little guy, and I'll just put my license and my debit card and like some cash in here. So this is like my on the go wallet, and it's a very, very beat up um, Vera Bradley like little license like change purse. Oh, I'm so stuffy because my freaking allergies. So next in here I'll just grab, is that money? Oh no it's not. <laughs> so next in here I have like my actual wallet and I really want to buy a new wallet because this is just like too big and this one is falling apart and I just, I just want one wallet. I need like a smaller one that can still hold everything that I own. Um, if you guys know of any really good quality but not super expensive wallets, <laughs> let us just know. But this is my big wallet that has everything in it. I got my insurance card, um, other debit cards, business cards, like um, gift cards, a lot. I have some receipts and then like change in the middle and this is just like my big wallet that holds everything more adulty. I have my CPR certification in here so if you guys are ever dying in my presence I'm certified to revive you. So that's comforting to know. My dead battery light keeps flashing and it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> okay let's just keep going. And then I have this little study with Pi Fi like pencil holder pouch but I don't use it for pencils. Um, let's see here. I have a lot of lip products in my purse. Why? I, I don't know. But anyways, in this little pouch, I have um, Maybelline Baby Lips. It is like super beat up and disgusting. I think that's nail polish. How did that get on it? You know, don't ask me. Don't ask. Then I have a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Original Chapstick because you need chapstick. Then I have a headband just in case my hairs are in my face. I have one of these hair rubber bands, you know, that like don't give you a crease. And then I have, oh, I have an empty Tylenol pill holder, travel holder thing, which really doesn't help me any much since it's empty. And then I have a hand sanitizer. I have hand lotion, this little EOS hand lotion, and then I have a, a little mini chapstick, a little mini one, star 105.5. If you're from the Chicagoland area, you know that, um, that radio station, yep, love it. So that is what 
is in this thing. This will kind of be like a purse cleanse for me. I'm gonna actually go through my purse and get rid of stuff. This is gonna be great, guys. This is this is gonna be great. Oh my god. Do you see? Do you see what is in there? It is just a clusterfuck of stuff. Oh my god, why am I like this? So these are just my car keys. Yeah, I just have this keychain so it's easy for me to find in my purse. That's literally why I have this fuzzy ball. Not because it's trendy or anything, I mean it is, but it's because it makes it easy for me to find my keys in my purse. I just, I feel for the fuzz, you know? And then I have this little keychain that I got from Rome and some like house keys. I have this Avita Stress Fix Body Lotion. It smells really good. It's like lavender. It's like that stress relief. Mmm, it smells so good. So I'm actually gonna put this in my little, in this little guy, cause like it fits the contents of this. I'm getting organized. This is, this is a good thing guys. This is a good thing. Let me mess with my hair. Then I have this Paris Amour Bath and Body Works perfume that is like Literally, there's that much. There's that much left, so I'm just gonna take this out. Ew. It's literally a yellow color, cause it just... This used to sit in my car in high school. Okay, yeah, I'm throwing this out. That's disgusting. And then I have a Tide to Go pen, because... Let me tell ya, your girl, she needs this a lot. I'm a messy eater. I just... It just happens. Stuff gets all over me, and so this is an essential that is... It's gonna stay in my purse. Yeah, I just... I have three empty, just garbage, chocolate brownie Cliff Bar wrappers in my purse. Why? I just... I can't give you guys an explanation. I don't know why I do these things, okay? My hair is just all over. <laughs> Next, we got a crumpled water bottle. I don't want you guys to think I'm just putting this random garbage in my purse because I'm... I really, I just don't know why. Uh, I don't know. Alright, then we get to some receipts. So, what is this? This is an Ulta receipt from April. Here's another little receipt. This looks like it's from like a gas station. Oh no, this is from a tattoo shop. <laughs> uh, oh, I got a scrunchie. It's full of hair. Ooh, I got some gum. Then I got, ooh, I got, oh, these are cute. I forgot about these. I got these sunglasses. These are super cute. Hey, welcome back, sunnies. I totally forgot about you. I'm sorry. <laughs> these were sitting at the bottom of my purse. So those will go back in my room. I don't know what this is to. This is like, like a USB cord, but it's not for an iPhone. It's for like an Android. I don't own anything that is an Android. Then I have this sticky note. Oh, it's a checklist for this one job interview, all the things I had to bring for it. Spoiler alert, I got the job. <laughs> then I got, ooh, all right. Lip products, I told you. Oh, my NARS, okay, this is my NARS Raquel. I thought I lost that for a second. This is going back in my makeup. This is, oh, Velvet Teddy. Literally all of my favorite lipsticks. Why don't I ever check my purse? And then these two are just chapsticks. These are really good chapsticks. So these are gonna stay in my purse because I love these. This is like a Hollister chapstick and it smells really good and it's really, really amazing. 10 out of 10, recommend. And it has SPF 15, so that is definitely going back in my purse. And then this is just a Burt's Bees pomegranate. Um, chapstick. Okay, so my camera died and I kind of forgot where I was in all this, but I think I was talking about all the random lip products I have in my purse. Um, I think I left off on this one. This is the Essence Cool Nude lipstick and this is literally just like my go-to. So that's why it's in my purse and I'll probably just keep it in my purse. So we have reached the bottom of my purse. Now there's just all these random things. So let's see, this is, this receipt is literally faded. Let's see, ooh, this one's from Target. Probably spent something that I didn't need. This is a battery. I don't know what this is to, but I found a battery. So that's just awesome. Um, oh, this is a movie theater ticket stub. Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Oh, that was a good movie. 
Um, oh, this is a free pass for rock climbing. Oh, I'm going to keep these. I just found two free passes to rock climb. Maybe it's a really good thing that I did this video today. I'm finding so many weird and kind of good things. Another free rock climbing pass. Awesome. Now I got three. We have reached the bottom. Oh, there is a paper clip. So there's that. Now we have reached the bottom. In the side pocket, I just have some Benadryl tampons and this little Michael Kors booklet that came with the purse. I'm sure it's like the how to care for it, like information that you get, you know? And then there's like two side pouches right here. And in this one, there's nothing. And in this one, there's a hairbrush, but I can't get it out. Ah. There's a little traveling hairbrush that has a lot of hair in it. That is all the contents of my purse. I apologize that 50% of it was um, garbage, but you know, it, it just happens, you know, it, it happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media so you can keep updated with me and whatnot. Comment down below if your purse is like a black hole, like mine obviously is. I feel like it's just like a thing with owning a purse. You just chuck everything in there. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. 